Another error we have to correct. Another error we have to correct in family is parental favoritism. Parental favoritism among the parents in every home. Most of us listening to me, most of us here, we are, we are victims of this thing I'm about to say now. The problem in that home began from when Isaac showed that he loved so much his son Esau, and Rebecca showed so much that his second son, her second son Jacob, was her favorite. That was the beginning of favoritism that can tear our homes apart. Parental favoritism. It happened in the house of David. And David never recovered from it. It's a mistake all of us must run away from. If you were a victim of such parental favoritism that you were marginalized and ignored and maltreated, never paid attention to, the word of God is coming to you that you may forgive and that you may not repeat the same thing unto your own children. Amen and amen. 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 Is somebody hearing me? Yes, yes sir. sir. One day, the sons, David had many children from different mothers, from different wives. The one called Amnon had intercourse with his own half-sister. The younger sister of another half-brother. And defied her. Somebody might say, is, this, is it just defilement that led to death? At that time, women, girls kept their virginity for their husbands alone. A woman without virginity at that time, it would be almost impossible for her to get married because they are their child wars of today. At that time, in their custom and tradition, if you marry a girl and they notice the first time with her, she wasn't a virgin, you had the right to call your brothers that night and stone her to death. So that was how valuable, how it was, how virginity was revered and taken at that time. So he defied his own half-sister. And David had it because Amnon was one of his best, his finest, his lovest, loving sons. He never punished him squarely. He never punished, he never gave, disciplined him as requ required. Absalom continued to brood and brood and planned vengeance and planned revenge. It took him two years, two years to perfect his plans and he took revenge for his younger sister. And that revenge took the life of that David's son. One neighbor, one near. Favoritism. When the young man pretended to be, to be sick, the king went in search of him. He went to his sick bed. He demanded through the king, tell my, my, my half-sister, Tama, to come and visit me and cook, and cook for me. The king was the one who demanded, who told Tama to go and do those things because the favorite son had made an, an, a demand. And when the, the sister went and was feeding him, that was how he forced, he forced her and defied her. And the sitting king that, has, that judged many cases couldn't take a decisive punishment or decision against him until Absalom took his vengeance. Favoritism is very bad and we must deal with it. We must make sure it does not cause us our peace. Look at the chain. Look at the chain of atrocities that happened as a result of favoritism that, that was bettered there. Absalom did not stop there. He overthrew his father. Sentenced him to death. Declared him the most wanted. Something that has never happened in the history of Israel. Happened that day. Happened in that period. And since after that time, such things never happened again. Gross atrocities. Favoritism must be dealt with. You must not show your children that I love this one, I hate this one. 
I prefer this one. I don't prefer this one. This one has made money. It's, my, it's now my own. No. You must have to know how to balance it. In order not to live and create an enmity after your life. Amen and amen. Amen. Another place you saw such a thing was Jacob. Put your house in order. Jacob married Rachel. Finally, after, seven, after 14 years of service, he got the best woman of his choice. And the two sons that came, that came through that one he loved, he transferred the love from mother to the sons. The son became, the son Joseph became his favorite. He never, he was so short sleeve for others and so long sleeve for, for Joseph. The love was so obvious. And the brothers, they have brothers, couldn't take it. And what did they resort to? They wanted to kill him. They wanted to take his life. The plan was not to sell him. It was when they now threw him inside the pit and saw the merchants moving. They said, what is his blood for us? What will he benefit us? Let us sell him. Amen and amen. 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 Parental favoritism. We must do away with it. We must end it. We must not show it. I know there is, it is almost impossible to say you love people the same way. But we must not show. It must not be obvious. Before our children, we will not let our children know that we love them more than we love the, the house help. We must not show it because you're breeding, you're, you're breeding something that when they go into the society, they will treat their mates. They will treat other people the same way you treat the house help in the house. Your, your, your training wickedness. Amen and amen. amen. You must not show favoritism. Put your house in order. Amen and amen. amen. Great empires are not destroyed by external forces. If you want to lose this wonderful family God has blessed you with, introduce favoritism. Mighty empires, great empires are not destroyed by external forces, but from forces within. Amen and amen. 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 